Hello, dear colleagues, this is Matteo Lambertini from the University of Genova in Genova, Italy. We are here at the ESMO 2025 Congress that has been a like, fantastic event, for the, particularly in the breast cancer field, which is the uh, field I'm interested in. Uh, particularly in this, uh, in this uh, field, I wanted to highlight the results of the positive trial, which is a very important academic study that was led by the International Breast Cancer Study Group Uh, trying to look into the possibility and feasibility for selected patients with hormone HER2 positive HER2 uh, hormone HER2 positive disease that wish to have a pregnancy to uh, um, temporarily interrupt the treatment after 18 to 30 months of uh, exposure to endocrine therapy. And the study looked into the possibility to temporarily interrupt for two years. And during these two years, women were allowed to try to get pregnant before going back to endocrine therapy and complete the 5-10 years duration. This trial included more than 500 patients, half of them with a low risk of disease recurrence. We already know from 2013, a publication in the New England Journal of Medicine, that this approach appeared to be safe. However, the follow-up back at that time was relatively short. Here at the ESMO Congress, Fredo Pecatori from Milan has presented the updated results from this study at more than 70-month follow-up. So a relative good follow-up also for patients with ER-positive disease. And based on these results and comparing the uh, uh, relapse rate in, uh, in this trial with, this, with an historical control from the soft and text trial, so two studies conducted in premenopausal women with ER positive disease, what we have seen is that apparently there is no safety, uh, negative safety signals, meaning that the rate of recurrences that were seen in the positive trial are very much similar to what was expected in the soft and what was seen in the soft and text trial meaning that this approach of a temporary interruption of endocrine therapy can be considered safe, safe in the sense that it does not appear to increase the risk of recurrence. These patients still have a risk of recurrence. There were more recurrences at the uh, uh, um, longer follow-up as compared to what we've seen in the uh, prior New England publication. So pregnancy will not... Uh, uh, eliminate the risk of recurrence, however, will definitely uh, um, uh, can be considered safe in the sense that it's not going to increase the risk of recurrence that a patient may have. I would personally not consider this approach as a like approach for everyone, uh, all the patients with ER positive disease, but I will make a sort of personalized counseling based on the risk of recurrence of the patient. With patients with a low, low intermediate risk of recurrence, I will consider this approach If there's a strong pregnancy desire and if the patient really wants to stop the treatment, not wait for the standard five-year duration of endocrine therapy. For, however, on the other side, for women with a higher risk of recurrence, I will not consider this approach, not because of the pregnancy, but because of their risk of recurrence. In this case, I really want, to, I really, I would really prefer to wait five years of follow-up before considering uh, to have a potential pregnancy. However, overall, I will say definitely uh, positive data from the positive trial, reassuring data for those women that want to temporarily interrupt the treatment to try to have a pregnancy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.